Do you speak Spanish? No. <laughs> no. Cama. Um, what else? Tortilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Una caña, por favor. <laughs> you get something to eat. Maybe not what you really wanted to, but you get something to eat and that's, that's okay. Hi, we are Eric and Ricky. We not only walk Camino de Santiago, but we also help others in the preparation and ask them important questions. Today we'll ask, is it possible to hike Camino de Santiago without speaking Spanish? I am 68 today. My name is Gary Klein and I'm from Edmonton, Alberta in Canada. And uh, which Camino you walked? I walked the French from saint jean pied de port Congratulations, first of all. Gracias. I'm Mariana and I come from Denmark. I'm 59 year old. I did the Camino Primitivo. I was impressed by myself, of myself, because before we went off, I thought, well, if, if it's too rough or if it's too hard, we can always take the bus. Trying to cope with the, the challenge that was in front of me. Uh, but on the way, I found out, well, no, I don't need the bus. I, I can. I can manage the pain and that was maybe my best experience. My name is Lucy, I'm from Czech Republic. I'm 20 years old and I finished Camino del Norte and Primitivo and this is my third Camino. My name is Jan, I'm from Poland. I'm 30 years old. This was my second Camino, second Cam Camino Portuguese. It's ideal uh, to walk in 10 days and I can fit it in two weeks holiday. I work an office job. I'm an accountant. I'm already planning my next. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? No. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? No. Do you need Spanish to walk the Camino de Santiago? It is uh, challenging, but you can get by. Most people understand and most you just point at things and, and they understand what you want. So. Do you know any Spanish phrases or words by now? Yes, I know how to order a beer in the restaurant. Let's see. <laughs> Una caña, por favor. <laughs> I know some basic words like uh, cuánto cuesta, cómo se llamas. Yeah. Although I often worry because my pronunciation is far from <laughs> perfect. But as long as Spanish people can understand me, that's, that's the goal of speaking languages, right? <laughs> How many words you learn in Spanish by now? Oh. Maybe five or six. Come on, bring <laughs> no, it on. Maybe. Uh, gracias, of course. Muchas gracias. Uh, um, adi adios. Uh, um, uh, uh, buenos dias. Um, cama. Um, what else? Tortilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And those words was it were enough to to get you Absolutely. from San Jean Pierre yes. de Port? Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. So, how is your experience on the Camino without? speaking Spanish. Yeah, it is possible. Like I do, I learn a few words like uh, kitchen, bathroom, like when camino and just the basics and that's all I need. And yeah, I, I, I'm not capable of speaking with somebody who don't speak English, but it's fine. You somehow uh, can talk with hands and some, somehow yeah, it works. It is actually only fun because every day you catch a new word and uh, yeah, uno ca café con leche is very important to know and you just get along and then there's someone else who speaks a little bit of English who, who translate or can translate one word and that's get, uh, you catch what they mean uh, and you get something to eat. Maybe not what you really wanted to, but you get something to eat and that's, that's okay. How did you manage, for example, to book uh, the albergues? I didn't book. I only booked in Santiago and it was very easy through booking.com. So, But on the way, how did you manage to get by without Spanish? Um, I, I just uh, would show up at an albergue and ask for a cama. Like I learned the word and, uh, and they would provide. And, and I tried to stop early in the day so that I could be at the opening for the albergue. But do you think without Spanish the, the, you, you, could, you could not walk or you could not enjoy Camino? Oh no, I look, this is my second 
Camino without speaking Spanish. I now speak some Spanish phrases, but I won't call it speaking language because it's not. However, you will find a way to communicate. Like you have your hands, you have all your body to like do the gestures, to uh, emphasize what you want to say. And uh, usually it works. People in albergues or along in the bars or restaurants speak Spanish, eh, English. Can they? Very few speak English, but I think they do. When you start trying to contact them or get in contact uh, with them in, in Spanish or with a few Spanish phrases, they. It's like when you meet Italian people on the on the way, they say, "Oh, I don't speak English, no." But they do. But they just want to be perfect before they speak. And and I'm used to not being perfect in anything. So so I just try and jump in and uh, uh, yeah, make a little bit of fool of myself. And then they they dare also to be to try. That's also very funny sometimes because uh, the ways people can show you what they may mean can vary, very, very much. If you don't speak Spanish, how do you book albergues? How do you reserve places? We didn't book many because we slept in the municipals uh, on the way. But when we had to, because it was crowded or we got a little bit afraid of not getting an albergue, we just uh, wrote to them in, on WhatsApp and uh, translated in Google thought well being resourceful. oh it's being resourceful it's easy today it wasn't 30 years ago <laughs> but it's very easy today do you think that speaking spanish would, would enhance your camino yeah it would be different in which way uh, a lot of uh, people from towns uh, try to talk to me try to give me some advice but i couldn't understand so maybe that would be different what about asking directions and without knowing Spanish? What about finding your way? Uh, I have maps on my phone, so <laughs> that, and the Camino is really good with the um, marks, so it's fine with navigation. I would brush up on my Spanish before coming back. I, I, I would, I think I would. Like How do you think it would change your experience? Um, I think it would be uh, um, able to engage with the, the uh, people better. Mm -hmm. and, and to uh, understand and be able to understand what they're saying better. But, yeah, I think that would be helpful. Yeah. And how do you think talking in, or communicating in Spanish could change your Camino experience? That I visit a country on their conditions, that I, it's more like a respect to the country that I just don't walk into, well, well I don't speak English at home, I speak Danish. So I try to communicate in a, in a third language with people and, and it's more respectful, I think, that I know a little bit more, that I at least uh, con in the first contact, I try to, to do it on their, uh, in their home language. But I do that. You, you learn the phrases to, to say hi, hi, hello, and so on. How many words do you know in Spanish? Oh, I don't know. Maybe 10 now. Bring them on. Okay. Café con that's a very one. Albergue, por favor, gracias, muchas gracias. Did you study Spanish before coming to Camino? No. Will you study Spanish after? Camino? Yeah, I have actually. We've talked about it. Maybe we should do a Duolingo course. <laughs> Possibly next time. It could be also. That would be a new experience to communicate with people. The most beautiful thing about Camino Santiago uh, are people you make, you meet along the way. No matter what you do in life, no matter where you're from, no matter how old are you, you we are all pilgrims. Everyone is equal on Camino. And, uh, you know, I never met a bad person on Camino yet. Everyone is so kind and, and so good. And, you know, like a lot of people says that kindness is dead. It's not. You just have to for example, go to Camino to experience it.
hearing those inspiring stories, you might be feeling motivated to start your Camino journey. Before you embark, consider joining us on a special retreat designed to prepare you both physically and mentally. Our retreat offers personal guidance, expert advice and a supportive community to ensure you're ready for adventure ahead. Sign up to secure your spot and start your Camino with confidence. Click the link below to learn more and register for our pre-Camino retreat. Don't miss this opportunity to make your Camino experience truly unforgettable.